Hi, this is one of those videos where I will be teaching you 100 English sentences using the modal verbs. Now, what are modal verbs? I've already done a video on this. You guys loved it. Here's the card to the video. If you want to watch it, you can. But first you will finish this one and then you can go and watch that one. Okay. What are modal verbs? Now, these are can, could, will, would, shall, should, must, may, might, have to, ought to, need to. All of these are modal verbs. These are used to express possibility, necessity, ability, permission, request, advice, obligation. Now, I will be teaching you the sentences and what you have to do is after watching the video once, you have to come back to the video and watch each of these sentences and repeat after me. Okay. When you repeat and you do this at least five to six times, you're going to get familiar with the sentences and trust me, you will be able to start using these sentences going forward. So I've got 20 categories and each of these have five sentences. So in all 100 sentences, let's start with the category number one, which is offering help. Can I assist you with anything else? You often hear these operators talk to you this way. May I help you with your luggage? Could I offer some advice on this matter? Shall I hold the door for you? Might I suggest a different approach? Category number two, giving advice. You should consider revising your resume. You ought to apply for the scholarship. You could try using a different method. You might want to check the weather before leaving. You must remember to take your medicine. Category number three, expressing ability. I can swim quite well. She could play the piano beautifully. They can speak multiple languages. He could lift heavy weights easily. Are you enjoying the class? Category number four, making requests. Can you please pass the salt? Could you help me with my homework? Will you please turn down the music? Turn down is lowering the volume. May I borrow your pen? Would you mind if I join you? Category number five, asking for permission. May I leave the room? Can we use the car tonight? Could I have some more tea? It was tasty. May I take a day off next week? Is it possible that I bring a friend? Category number six, making predictions. It might rain later. They should arrive by noon. We could win the match. He must be stuck in traffic. You will find this book interesting. Number seven, expressing possibility. This might be the last bus to the city. It could be a difficult task. There may be a better solution. That must be the reason for delay. This can be a potential market. Category number eight, prohibitions. You mustn't smoke in here. You can't park your car here. You shouldn't use your phone while driving. Students may not leave early. They mustn't enter the restricted area. Point number nine, expressing necessity. You must wear a helmet when riding a bike. You have to submit the assignment by Monday. They need to renew their passports. She has to attend the meeting. He needs to apologize. Category 10, making suggestions. We could go to the beach this weekend. You might find this app useful. They should try the new restaurant. She could join a study group. We might enjoy a movie night. Category 
11. Expressing obligation. You must complete your homework. I have to return this book today. They ought to pay their bills. We are supposed to meet at 5 p.m. She has to finish the project. Now I need to remind you that you ought to repeat these sentences after me in your second run of this video, okay? Let's get going. Twelve, expressing lack of necessity. You don't have to wear a tie. They needn't bring any food. We don't need to book in advance. She doesn't have to explain herself. He needn't apologize. Thirteen, making offers. I can make you some coffee. We could give you a lift. They can lend you the book. She might help you with that. He could show you around. Fourteen, expressing regret. I should have studied harder. They ought to have apologized. He must have forgotten the data. We might have missed the opportunity. She could have called earlier. Fifteen, asking for advice. Should I take this job offer? What do you think I must do? Could I ask for your opinion? What should be my next step? Can you advise me on this? Sixteen, making assumptions. They must be stuck in traffic. He could be the next CEO. This must be a very expensive car. They might not be interested. She should be at home by now. Seventeen, giving instructions. You must press this button to start. You should enter your password here. They have to follow the guidelines. We need to fill out this form. He has to wear the safety gear. Eighteen, expressing preferences. I would rather have tea than coffee. This is a very good one. Practice it. They would prefer to travel by train. We would like to order now. She would rather stay home tonight. I'd prefer a window seat, please. Nineteen, expressing deduction. Deduction is to calculate outcomes. This must be the place. They can't be serious. She might not know the truth. He can't have forgotten about it. It could be the right answer. Twenty and the last one, making invitations. Would you like to join us for the dinner? Can you come to the party? Would you be interested in a game of chess? Could you attend the meeting? Shall we go for a walk? No, seriously, would you like to go on a walk with me? That's all about it. Now your homework is to go back to the start of the video and watch it along with it. Speak with me. Okay. I say a sentence. You pause. You repeat after me and then you wait for me to say the next one and then you repeat. So we can practice together and you could do this whenever you have time. Remember, you have to do this at least five times and then you'll be familiar with the sentences and they will come easily to you. I'll see you again soon. You take care of yourself. Bye bye.